Okay, Stings, in this fourth video regarding finding slope, we're going to look at finding slope from a table. So we are going to look at how our y values change in response um, and how the x values change. So we have change in y over change in x. So looking at our example here, our change in y to go from a negative 3 to a negative 5. This change is a negative 2 change because negative 5 is getting um, more negative than negative 3 or it's smaller so we're subtracting. To get from 2 to 4 on the x side you're going to add 2. This is my y change. I need to get my color straight here. This is my x change. So we have a change in y over a change in x. So slope as we have seen before is the change in y over the change in x. So what you have there is a change in y of negative 2 and a change in x of positive 2. So if we simplify now we find out that our slope is negative 2 divided by negative 1 which is negative 1. The other thing we could do is recognize that you have two points here and we could then just use the slope formula and the skeleton and identify those values, put them in there and simplify. So you can either look at what the change is and get your ratio from that, get your rate of change, which is also what we call slope, and find it from the table that way. So you have multiple options when you are given a table. Either use the formula or use the change that you see in the table itself.